And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Teamer Ramp. This deck can do some crazy stuff. This was a uh, a popular video when, whenever we first played it. And we've changed up the deck just a little bit. Um, kind of went with 28 lands not really being enough. We I'm up to 30 lands now because um, we just really want to hit as many land drops as possible. And that's, that's really the whole goal of the deck, get all of the lands in play and then cast large Hydroid Crisis and Expansion Explosions. And yeah, you just want as many lands as possible. So we have so I've added two lands, and I took out the Gilded Goose from the other video because I wanted some Storm's Wraths in the main, and I'm not playing Bone Crusher Giant anymore either. Um, because this is this card's just pretty good against everybody, and it's just a, a good sweeper. Even though it kills our Dryad and it and it doesn't work that well with Nissa, it's something that we can play before we play these other cards, especially before Nissa, uh, to slow down our opponent. And then I'm playing a couple because because we're killing our own creatures. And I don't really want Gilded Goose. We're playing a couple of Boreal Grazer, but Grazer is another card that makes you play even more lands. So you know we just we need we have all these cards that want us to play more lands. I've been pretty. Pretty impressed with Uro, so we got a second Uro in here also. And, you know, we just want as many lands as, as possible because, you know, we can play extra lands with Grazer, Spiral, Uro, Dryad. Um, so obviously we run, run out of lands from hand, but that's what Escape to the Wilds lets us uh, dig five and just play a bunch of extra lands uh, there also. And, uh, yeah, that's all we do is we just play tons and tons of extra lands, get lots of lands in play, um, you know, we can kind of combo kill people with playing Nyx Blue Mansion and then having tons and tons of mana. Um, so yeah, that, that's what our deck's all about. Let's give it a try. We're going to be playing the uh, the metagame challenge today because this goes away in 20 hours. So let's do this. This is this uh, 2,000 gold entry, but if we can do well, we can win lots and lots of packs if we can get lucky. We were not lucky with our Demir Kraken deck. Let's see how we do with Teamer Ramp. Thanks, Desk Jockey. Um. So I don't have a lot of early ramp. Our, our best hands definitely have Growth Spiral uh, in them. Hmm. This is kind of tough to keep, but I'm going to. Drawing the steam vents means that we can, uh, we can shock that in, even if we found, like, a Grow Spiral. Ugh. Seems like every time I play this deck, I play against other Simic Ramp. It's weird. Ramp Mirrors aren't, like, the most fun, because it's just... Who does their big thing first? Uh, thanks, Shabby. This would be a, a good time for the sweeper. Storm's Wrath. Razor puts a land. I mean, that's not a Storm's Wrath, but that's that's a perfectly reasonable card. Puts a land from the hand into into play. Like we're we're gonna lose a, a couple of these things. So does the Uro.
Yeah, it's a four of in the 75. We have two in the main, two more in the sideboard. And we got a couple of flame sweeps in the sideboard as well. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, play a land that's 11, so we can play Nyx Bloom Ancient, um, and then still have 4 lands left, so 4 times 3 is 12, so not quite enough to, really, well, I guess that means I'm dead though, is it, doesn't it, no, not quite. No, not quite. Not quite dead. Agent of Treachery, that thing. All right, so if I go so 12, that means I could Krasis for 10. So Krasis for 10 gains 5 life. And then I have, like, the two blockers, and I'm at 6. Um, Alternatively... I could play Grazer also. Crisis for like eight. Whoa, Foxy, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much, Foxy. I really appreciate that. That's very, very kind of you. I think I want to do eight. Okay. No growth spiral. Played the temple. Hope this is good enough. Because, I mean, they're obviously dead if we get to untap. Should be good enough. Unless they find something with like Nylea. May have been a little bit of a hasty agent of treachery. If they just don't, if they just don't cast their agent of treachery and just attack, and just let me chump block, then I play this. They steal my Nyx Bloom Ancient, then I'm in a lot of trouble. Okay, so that would still. 
You could kill the ancient. Right? Or no, maybe not. They tap for an additional one, so he's attacked for four, so six, so yeah, never mind, yeah, they can. Okay. So they're not dead. Thanks, Jacko. Okay, we gotta stay alive. Um... I guess that. Whoops. Green. Green. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, plus the untapped two is fifteen. So the most I can do is thirteen damage. Which does that kill them? Not quite, right? Let's double count that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh, no, so that's just 11 damage, right? Because explosion, you have to do 4. Um, let's do another one of these for 8. I wish I could play that Storm's Wrath. I don't know if I'm actually going to survive this. I may be dead. Be dead. Um, block, block, block. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I'm dead. They just attack out right now. I'm dead. Alright, so should not have cast that escape to the wilds. Yeah, I mean that was just that was just dumb to cast that escape to the wilds. I'm not playing very well today. So we're gonna be playing more Storm's Wraths to try to clean up their mana creatures, because obviously that's that's what their deck's all about, is just bunch of mana creatures by playing ley line <clears throat> so we're gonna have more storms wraths i could play ether gust also yes yeah, so they had they had exactly lethal um, I tabbed my creature to my blocker. Did not need to do that. So, of course, Nissa, Dryad, 
a Boreal Grazer. I think those are like Nissa's worse with Storm's Wrath. I do think this is kind of a race, so I'm not sure if I actually want Ether Gust. Basically, Ether Gust would stop their Nissa, so I guess I should play it for their Nissa. No, we're just going to play a Mass Manipulation. Okay, so we're going to play those. We're going to take out a Grazer, a Dryad, and a Nissa. I usually keep hands with lots of lands with this deck, especially how we have triple temple to help us draw spells. Because you know, like this deck, you got to hit all your land drops. Hey, Ron. Keep it. All right, well, it was better than drawing Temple of Mystery. Good for Storm's Wrath. There's 30 lands in the deck. Agent of Treachery is a card that I really struggle against, just in general. It's one I don't have great defense for. Yep, it's good to be back. Hey, 619. Power surges through these lands. Be wary of the ground you walk on.
Defeated. I don't think... Let's see. We're going to play another one, of course. Just going 0-1 real, real fast like that. I don't, I don't know if there's a card that I've lost to more than Agent of Treachery with this deck. It seems like I always get paired against Agent of Treachery. Um, but again, the game one, I could have stayed alive if I didn't tap my creature. I'm really not playing the best today, but... At least we're streaming again. Hey, where were you all last match? Could have used you last match. See, I swear all you do is play against ramp if you play ramp. That's all. That's all. It's like the only option. I really want another land. So I want to play Krasis for four next turn. No, the Demir deck's very good. I th threw away one of the losses. But no, I've, I've had a lot of success with the Demir deck. Over the past few days, I just lost a couple there. It was The deck was not bad. I've been thinking about putting Gadwick in here. Try to get more card draw. If not main sideboard. I've also been thinking about taking out Nissa. Just playing Storm like taking out the Nissas and just playing two like four Storms or Ath in the main and then two Gadwicks. I think that may be better. The Nissas aren't aren't really what the deck's all about, but That was a good turn for them. I didn't have escape with five mana. I drew the escape from the crisis. Right? Or I drew the red source? Or no. Oh, but I had red because of Dryad. Right? So I had I had escape. I'd... Yeah, so I should have escaped on five. Because of Dryad.
go down there. So obviously I need them not to have any counter magic. But if they don't have any counter magic, we have a good chance. Um, yeah, a Nissa and an Ancient makes a land tap for four instead of a tap for three. Okay, they just have explosion. Very good hand for them. GG's. Gadwick was awesome. Okay, so I'm going to take out Storm's Wrath for Hydra. Basically, I want Hydra in a gate. I'm just not going to play Nissa. Thanks, Storm. Thanks, Rock. Yeah, thanks. What two mana or like what spell are they playing? They're not really playing a spell, are they? I guess that was the bad case scenario of me tapping out. They got the reclamation in play. Yeah, I mean, we could have one green castle in instead of a forest.
So keeping Grow Spiral because it's um, it's another card for the graveyard for Uro. I guess I could have done X is four. But still have the multiple counter spells available. I should have done Nexus 4. This song is Easy Tiger by Portugal the Man. So still need another card in the graveyard before we get to um, cast Uro. Okay, let's try this for game three. Game number three. We get a one lander. I guess it's kind of like having a one spell or. -er. I mean, it's either Ether Gust or Voracious Hydra. Ether Gust can slow down Wilderness Reclamation just for a little bit. Put it back. Kodahari, thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. I don't think there's any bands upcoming. Let's 
person asks, what's the next card to be banned? I don't, I don't think there's any next card to be banned right now. Thank you, Bert. Thank you, Bert. That's that's really really nice of you. Thank you so much. That was very yeah. That was very nice of you, Bert. Definitely be missed. Hey, Stain Soul. Brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel. if they kept something on top I wasn't paying attention honestly but I should probably have negate available I would like to play to bump it up I would like to play escape to the wilds and then play another land and then have negate But that's risky because we could just lose. Definitely hoping it was not that, also. Gross. Can't negate that. Why don't they just tap the castle the first time? Oh, thanks, Stained. Thanks, Stained Soul. Well, welcome to the channel.
don't know. I mean, I, it's basically I could just die at any point at right now. To expansion explosion. Probably means I'm not just dead immediately. At least not yet. Hey Matthew, thank you. Would they have so much scry power? One, two, one, two, three. I am in trouble. Um, no, I've never, I've never really gotten into any Pokemon game. Stop you. Okay. I don't really have a great answer to this Uro right now. I just don't have the mana to like do the have the Hydra fight, but then also have have protection as well. Uh, thanks, Charton. Not often that, that somebody is out and just has more mana than me, but both of these matches we've had <laughs> people have more mana than me. So there we go. Is he on, uh, you know, tripling mana? with Willens Reclamation.
All right, so there we go. So that's Teamer Ramp. Um, you know, I, I do feel like I don't really like Nissa in this deck. It's kind of weird. But the more I play it, the, the less I like Nissa. And the more I want to take out Nissa, just have um, more Storm's Wraths in the main. Just have, just have all of the Storm's Wraths in there. And then play a couple Gadwicks. Gadwick is just awesome. I do kind of feel like that would just be better. And then, you know, like, my sideboard still, like, okay, so the reason why I have Frogify in here, if you're wondering about that, is because I could, I don't really have things that deal with, like, you know, a, a Rotting Regisaur, like a 7-6 right away. Um, you know, like, things that are bigger than Storm's Wrath. I don't really have thing, you know, like, especially, especially, like, Rotting, Rotting Regisaur. And so that's why I just have, like, one Frogify for, you know, like, that Torbran, you know, like, that that kind of stuff. Um, even though Torbran ties to this. But, you know, like, just to bring in against those kind of aggro decks. Um, where, like, a Lava Coil wouldn't kill, like, a Rotting Regisaur. That, that's basically the reason why I have that in there. Um, sure, we draw from Krasis, but, you, I mean, we can have more card, card draw. We don't always just have Krasis all the time. It's a, it's a lot better to play Gadwick for like five mana and draw two than like have Hydroid Krasis at five mana. But then Gadwick can also just be in, in the very late game, you know, it can just be a, a huge card draw spell. When you're playing Dryad, you need as much card draw as you can have because you just you you just draw more lands and then Dryad plays, you know, lets you play all those extra lands that you draw. And so like at four, five, six, seven mana, it's kind of better to be playing Gadwick than playing Krasis. That's the role of Gadwick. And it's just a it's a good blocker, it keeps you alive. And we do have Grow Spiral and Explosion that we can use mostly Grow Spiral to tap during their turn. It's just it's just a good solid card. I think it does a better job keeping us alive than Nissa will. And Nissa did. Uh Brazen Borrower. Um I don't really like Brazen Borrower that much. I think I'd rather have Bone Crusher Giant. I think Cyborg, we should have some Agent of Treachery. He's not, not that mass manipulation, and now we can we can have some more. We can have some just treacheries in the sideboard for those those kind you know those matchups that we're just playing, like where it's just about a lot of mana and it's a creature that we're bringing in. So there we go. Um, you know, I, I do think that, that the deck should probably just adapt a little bit. Yeah, I think I think Storm's Wrath is just awesome. Um, really like that card. And, and yeah, like, this deck isn't really about Nyssa. It's not. And, you know, like, Nyssa, you can have you destroy your lands, and that's not great. Um, and then, yeah, we could play one. Get one green castle in here also instead of the fifth mountain or fifth forest. Yeah, get a get a green castle in there. Okay. So those are those are a couple of things that that I think I want to change with this deck moving forward. Um, hey, that that sounds awesome, Potato. No, I have not looked into Vance at all yet. Um, all right, so those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. Let me know what you think of this newer version of Teamer Ramp. 
um, you know, let me know what you think about taking out Nyssa. Uh, that's one of those cards that I think a lot of people would be shocked to take out and just think it's a, you know, a, a sacred cow kind of card. But I, I think, I honestly think the deck kind of performs pretty well without it. <clears throat> All right, but uh, that's it here for Teamer Ramp. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for the next video.